What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. I'm here with another uh, 4k review for you guys. You guys know you guys read the title um, I'm doing my 4k review for Halloween for the return of Michael Myers the screen factory release that just came out this week um, I'm, I'm gonna give my thoughts and my feelings on this 4k disc compared to what I have in front of me and that's from this 10 disc set and um, right off the bat I'm going to get into my thoughts on this but um, like I said if you guys enjoy videos like this I'm starting to try to get on this track with actually actually reviewing 4k discs um, like I said, if you guys want more things like that from me, go ahead and hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoy stuff like this. I would love to hear you guys' comments and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and jump into this. Now, getting into, um, let's get into this release from this set. Now, I was doing research on the 15 disc set, and I was reading on it, and turns out that the Halloween 4 disc from the Screen Factory version had some issues if i'm not mistaken i think it was audio or something missing from that set so um actually the release i have here is not even a screen factory disc let me show you guys um there's no screen factory on the disc so this is not even their disc this is the anchor bay release for this set so i don't have i only i don't even have the screen factory uh disc to compare this to um but I did do a side by side. I did pop in this disc I have right here. I don't even have the DVD anymore. I think I sold the DVD. Um, I should have kept that because this is one of my favorites from the franchise. But um, I did do a side by side comparison. And right off the bat, I was blown away. I was. Um, now, I, the title of this video is Should You Upgrade? Is this worth the upgrade from Blu-ray or DVD, um, and in my opinion, is worth the upgrade. There are certain things that Screen Factor has done to this disc alone that did blow me away. Um, certain scenes um, look more sharper. They look more like they look touched up. Um, they they cleaned up the image very well. Um, for this release and that was the one thing I was very um, surprised on but um, let me go ahead and get into um, the actual release I, like I said I do like the artwork this is the front I do like the artwork now that it's in front of me the mask is horrible like right off the bat the mask is terrible and it looks terrible on the image but I do like the artwork I do like the images on the back um, so yeah that's the front this is the back try to pausing on there i don't know if you guys can see that clear but i'm gonna read some of the special features but that's the front that's the spine you guys can see that um like i said it's another hard 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 case which i do enjoy um so and you do get you do get the classic artwork which i do i did change to the original poster which is awesome the back is still the same as well and you only get two discs in this one so you get the 4K, and then you get the Blu-ray, uh, which is very interesting. But, yeah, um, let me hit, go ahead and read off the special features. I think most of the special features on here are the same from this release. Now, let me look like I did for the first one. Now, I mean, let me go ahead and get this out the way as well. The reason why I'm reviewing 4 and I skipped 2 and 3 is because I don't have those discs. And I didn't want to wait to talk about this one while I was waiting on these other two. So, like I said, I just checked my best my best buy, my Amazon app and it looks like I'm getting I uh, uh, my two, 3 and 5 has just shipped. Now I'm just waiting on number 2. So, when 3 and 5 come in, I'll review those as I get them. And probably the last review I'll do is 2 because it looks like that one is the last one coming. So, but that's why I'm reviewing these out of order. I'm sure I'm probably going to get a comment section like, oh, where is Halloween 2 review? Where is Halloween 3 review? I'm like, I don't have those discs yet, so I can't review them. So, um, but going ahead into this, um, on this release, you get the, um, you get audio commentary with actors Ellie 
um, Cornell and Daniel Harris, and you get audio commentaries from the director, Dwight H. Little, and the author, Justin Baham. I don't want to fuck at his name, but I probably did. And you get a theatrical trailer. So those are the special features you get on the Blu-ray for this version. But on the um, on the 4K, you get... Obviously, you get the new 2021 4K scan, the original camera negative. You get the new Adobe Atmos mix. You you get the audio commentary, and that's the same. Those are the same. Now, now the Blu-ray disc, you get... Also, you get the new 2K scan, or the new 4K scan, I'm sorry. You get the new 2021 4K scan, original camera negative. You get the new Adobe, Adobe Atmos track. You also get the um, same audio commentary, so that doesn't change. But you also get the making of Halloween 4 Final Cut. You get the making of Halloween 4. You get Horrors Hollow Grounds, a look at the film's location. You get theatrical trailer, TV spots, and still gallery. Now, those aren't on this set, I don't think. Um, Not that I know of. I don't see that on the back of this set. So maybe those are new. I don't know right off the bat. I don't know. I don't see anything about making of Halloween 4. I don't see that at all. So maybe that is new. I don't know. The the making of Halloween 4 final cut sounds new. I've never seen that special feature before. So maybe that is new. Um, but yeah, that's the release of, uh, that's the packaging and stuff. Like I said, I do like the artwork. The artwork is pretty dope. Now, getting into the actual picture. Like I said, I was blown away by watching this. Um, the picture does look stellar. Uh, uh, like I said, certain scenes do pop. Like I said, the daytime scenes do shine on this scene. Um, and the nighttime scenes really do shine as well. The opening sequence when Daniel Harris shows up on screen, you can definitely tell the difference between the Blu-ray and the 4K. The Blu-ray looks really fuzzy and grainy, and they did fix the picture quality for this one um, as well. So, um and also, the Dolby Atmos track is amazing on this disc as well. They really did upgrade the uh, audio. But there's also, you can also change the audio as well in the settings as well. But like I said, if you listen to that Dolby Atmos track, your your house is going to really be well. The score pops on this as well. Um, it's more depth, depth to the image, which I absolutely loved for this film. Um and I, it's funny because when I pop this in, because I already know Halloween 4 is not the best shot one. This one in the fifth one. I'm very uh, I'm ready to see what the fifth movie looks like because that's probably the worst one that in picture quality, in my opinion. So I was I had very low expectations for how this disc looked. Also, shout out to my, uh, my boy Tyler from Mind, uh, Mind of a Nerd. Go check him out on Instagram. But... He also was not um, ready to, he didn't want to get this disc. So, um, in my opinion, if you don't own this, I recommend buying this 4K. Um, It's definitely a step up from the Blu-ray, especially from this set. I probably would never watch this disc ever again now that I have this disc. And like I said, another plus, if you don't have a 4K player, the Blu-ray disc also comes with the new 4k scan obviously the difference is you got a blu-ray disc compared to a 4k disc but this the the blu-ray disc also has the 4k scan so you get the best of both worlds if you don't have a 4k player if you're just like future proofing your collection go ahead and pick this up i do recommend buying this like i said um i was i was blown away i was really blown away by looking at this disc i there, there's never been a time when I'm when I'm watching a 4K disc that I'm not really ready to see what it looks like, and I say it over and over. I'm like, man, this really does look good. Um, they really did improve the picture quality compared to the disc. Now, another thing, like I said earlier, I don't actually have the Screen Factory Blu-ray disc that came with like the 15 disc set or this set. This is the Anchor Bay release. So this compared to the Anchor Bay release is a massive jump. It's a massive jump for sure. Um, like I said, I, I just I, I, I just love the picture quality on this movie. I do recommend buying it, um, like I said. So, yeah, that's just my quick review and thoughts on Halloween 4, um, the return of Michael Myers. Like I said, if you guys haven't bought this yet, 
go ahead and buy it. I do recommend it. I was basically, I, I was, I was, um, I had very low expectations. That's probably why I was blown away by this disc. And, um, yeah, it also is one of my favorite Halloween movies. I love the atmosphere of this film. I also did a review for this movie. I'll probably put a card or something, you know, if you guys want to check out that review. This is not a review on the movie, but I do love the atmosphere of this movie. Like, once the movie started, I could tell that this is definitely an upgrade for sure. Like I said, so that's just my quick thoughts, my review, uh, my my thoughts and review for the Halloween 4, the 4K from Screen Factory. Like I said, if you guys enjoyed videos like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. Uh, more 4K reviews for the Halloween franchise will be coming as I get them in the mail. Like I said, I'm waiting on Halloween 3 and 5 and number 2. Um, those reviews will be coming when I get those in my hands and watch them on the screen. So like I said... Um, if you, like I said, if you guys enjoy more videos like this, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And I'm honest with you guys. Peace out.